Welcome to the virtual world of Tabor, a place I would be calling home for the next 12 hours as I let this little television box burn my eye sockets away. I will be taking on the role of a ghost, infiltrating the island of Tabor and Missile Silo, trying to see what sorts of goodies I can bring back to the bunker and build up my collection. And this here was the first wipe of Tabor, and with this wipe, everyone was set on an even playing field, including my friends Sloth and Danny, who neither have any experience in this game. Buckle up, because some of the greatest events to ever take take place in the world of VR looter shooters is about to unfold as we try to become proper ghosts of Tabor. With a fresh wipe under our belt and two thirds of the team not having any clue as to what they were doing, we chatted for a little bit to get acquainted with our new humble abode, the bunker. There is a table behind you that has one, two, three, four, five key cards laid on it. You'll pick up the color coded key card to the door and slide it into the little beep boop, the thinger. Everyone now having a basic understanding of how our bunkers operate, I headed over to the mission kiosk to prepare and grab some missions from various traders such as Spectre and the Merchant of Death. Leveling up these traders will give me access to higher tier items that they sell. Spectre is my go-to man for all of my gunsmithing needs as he sells guns, magazines, suppressors, and various other attachments. Minty, the stingy butter biscuit that he is, provides me with all of the gear I need to stay alive on the battlefield like various chest rigs, helmets, night vision, and backpacks to store my items. And Shiro, sweet, sweet Shiro. This guy gives me all the different types of powder and brass that I need to be able to craft my own bullets for my guns. There is also the hospital, Merrick, Yuri, and the Merchant of Death, but I don't really care about any of those at the moment unless Merchant of Death decides he wants to sell me an RPG. With the trader squared away, we squatted up like the well-coordinated team that we were and queued up for our first PvP run. Danny joined the squad. Hey, cool. All right, guys, all right. Completed, we're joining a server. Okay, guys. We airdropped straight into the island of Tabor. The grass was green and the air was brisk. This felt like it was gonna be a great first run. Heading into the first building we landed next to, I found a better chest rig to swap out with my musty Dollar Tree armor. Here, we're fancy, we're looting. Oh, I got some better armor right away. We all continued looting and stuffing our bags full of whatever we could find until Sloth came across a game-changing discovery. Oh, what's this thing? Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, think there's weed. I think I found weed! Put oh, it's, it's nails. It's nails. It's oh, nails. that's not weed. Disappointment only had a short place in my heart as Danny found a sweet new hangout stocked with loot. In the room on the roof. Holy How, crap, this do, room is here? Uh, can you take one? <laughs> yeah, I'll take uh, the AK. <laughs> Of course, all good things must come to an end, especially in a world where we are given no choice but to fight. Oh shit! Whoa! Shit, Who's I'm shooting? Dead. Who's shooting? That's an enemy. On the side of the house, I'm dead. Enemy spotted. That's where I was. Tango down. Kill the guy, I think. Well. That's a player. That's a player. That's a player with a big backpack. Oh, let's go! Did you kill him? Come on, my I'm a king! He had a big backpack too on him, didn't he? We had successfully taken down two players, but at the cost of Danny's life. The enemy team saw that we were distracted and found the perfect time to ambush. Sloth and I, now fully alert, grabbed up the loot from the players we had killed and headed towards the Xville. On our long trek across the map, Sloth had some insightful suggestions for this world. Dude, it'd be awesome if there was like deer. If they put like deer and pigs in here and you could shoot them and then like gut them and then eat them, that would be cool. I figured instead of spending my time surviving and trying to like make sure I don't get shot, I'm probably just gonna like gut a deer. Not long after, we finally made it to our first Xville and successfully extracted. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. So we run over, boom, and then we just walk up to it and you just see that our countdown timer will start and we can oh, crouch okay. here. Right. Are we, are we going to okay. get out, see? Yeah, we did it. Holy successful God. extract. <laughs> and let's go! Making it back to our bunkers safe-ish and sound, I put up my two new guns on the wall in my armory and took a look through my backpack. This is where I had remembered that one of the traders, Merrick, who I didn't really need to level up unless I wanted smoke grenades, needed one of these SSDs for a mission. So I slapped it down on the conveyor belt and shipped it out to our dear pal Merrick to pick up a few extra Karunas. With everyone now readied up, we set back out to raid the island of Tabor. It appears as if the lucky chat in the sky was looking down upon us because somehow Danny managed to loot the highest tier armor you can get in Tabor out of a silly green box. No, oh no shot that you just found that, Danny. No, yeah, you guys, dude. You guys. Now with Captain Lucky Duck on our team, Sloth thought that he'd try and roll his dice. Let's get let's up see. in the- Oh, let's go! Oh, guys, we're gonna fly helicopters! Throwing flashbang! <laughs> <laughs> This camp was picked bone dry, and now it was time to figure out our next point of interest. Go to an extraction point. We already have good shit. 
<laughs> After a solid case of gear fear and a unanimous decision on where to head next, we booked it towards the exfil. Dashing right past the research lab windows was a risky play for sure, but we made it past without our bodies crumpling. Though the same can't be said about Danny's gear. Do you want me to put the loot on me and then I'll give it to you when we get there? No, we'll do it up the hill. Oh god. Okay, okay. Careful dropping. Careful. Oh my god! No! 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 Armor! She had managed to give it a good old yeet into the fourth dimension, but after an ample dose of OxyClean, it was right back to normal. Is this you, Danny? Who's where's Danny? Where are you? We're not down the hill, we're up the hill! We're up I got it right down here! As we were sprinting towards the extraction point, the radio tower had taunted us, so we took a quick peek inside to be rewarded a second time by the chat in the sky. Alright, I'm opening up a... <gasps> let's go, no shot! What is it? G36C, let's go! Nice. Oh, graphics card, let's go! No way! With our blessings in full supply, we left back out the doors to head towards the exfil that was only 100 meters away when I spotted a player out of the corner of my eye. So I understand how the backpack mechanics work. Someone's coming up the hill. Right side, oh, no. right side, right side, down. Get down, get down. He's right around this rock. Okay, I got the left side of the rock. I got the left side. Oh my god. Friendly? I'm not. Oh my god. Oh, Robert Downey oh, Sr. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> After a slightly borderline war crime on Robert Downey Sr., we grabbed his loot and booked it to Xville. With us making it here, it was time for me to try and give Danny back her Giga Chad armor rig. Oh shoot, um, yes. Hey, yeah, sweet. Calibration came up. Gosh. Yes, because you were in seated mode. Right here. What? You oh, let where go? Did it go? Yeah, yeah, sadly not even the power of OxyClean was gonna bring that one back. Dropping back into the bunker yet again, I slotted my freshly acquired gats onto my wall, chest piece in the locker, and strapped on my running shoes for another hike across the player-infested island. Next one. <laughs> Alright, we're deploying. I'm gonna drink some water or some... Mountain Dew Baja Blast. The start to this island run was looking pretty good as we found some nice loot right off the rip in one of the guard booths. But one thing you'll learn really quickly from my experiences is if Danny's sharing them with me, she always finds new ways to break the virtual world. Whoa! What? Where did my backpack go? It's, it's in your hand. It's in your left hand. <laughs> oh my god, no, it's not. <laughs> my hand is glitching in and out of existence. <laughs> oh no! Danny managed to get her backpack over her shoulders and a gun locked and loaded, just in time for us to alert everyone in a hundred meter radius of our position. We made our way into the prison compound, scavenging for loot until some of the nearby noises put Sloth on full paranoia mode. I'm upstairs. Who's that? Who's that? I'm upstairs. Who's that? Who's that? That's Danny. Oh god, I almost shot you! To make sure we weren't like those other goofballs nearby, I tried to go stealth mode and take out the rooftop phoenix. Oh, I want oh, I what the I just, freak was that? I should have snapped the neck of a play or of a of a bad guy. Don't worry, oh, don't worry. Okay, cool. Continuing through the hangars and out of the compound, we popped a new player in the noggin, hid from the crack shot AI, and managed to have Danny get in another predicament. I'm stuck. Help. Danny manages to break the game in all unique ways all the time. It's, it's a... <laughs> you really do. We sat here for a solid 10 minutes trying to see if she could get unstuck, but finally decided on just clicking her head. Until this happened. Anything else on me? I think that's it. All right. Don't turn around. Look us right. dead in the eye. Look Three. Us, don't, don't put your hands up. No, have pride in yourself. <laughs> no way. Come on. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's break it. I was about to shoot her! I was just gonna pull the trigger! This was a great success. Danny was free, Sloth didn't have to murder anyone, and overall, our friendship was as strong as our lack of communication skills. I'm behind you! Oh! Oh, there he is! Oh my god, he's gonna kill us! Where, where he's is he? He's on the other side. He's on oh, the other, he's on the other side. Where? He just went on that side. I wish I could ping. He's right below you on the left. I see him. That's Danny! Danny. You are both dumb! No. That's each other! <laughs> oh my... Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Though our communication may have not been the best, we still managed to make it all the way to the extraction point without dying. There is no way that we just... Oh, 
amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. Wanting to really stack up our armories and get some night vision goggles before we even attempted a silo run, we went back to the island. I found a sweet Scar H, popped some Phoenix in the head, and proceeded to play babysitter with Danny and Sloth. Careful, careful, careful. Who? Where Who's is Sloth? Go? Danny, don't, don't go up stuck. there. There's a window shot out. What are you doing? We're getting stuck. No, we're not getting stuck. To top it all off, Danny brought it to our attention that this was more than just an extraction shooter where we needed to not get hit by bullets to survive. Guys, I'm I dying. See. Why? Can How much food? How much food and water do you have? None. Where are you? Okay, we're coming down. We're coming down. We're coming down. What's your health at, Danny? Ooh, tortilla. That's not a tortilla. That's a smoke grenade. Eventually, Danny did eat some beans, which replenished her hunger and thirst. But of course, with these two, everything continued to spiral out of control. Oh my God! I'm, I'm gonna die of water. I'm at one. Eat beans. We're going west. Everybody have the compass on. How have we extracted every run so far? <laughs> Because we are awesome at We're this game. Amazing. So you know, you probably have enough bullets to fix this problem right about now. <laughs> There's no way Z-Storm could take this for 12 hours with us. I admired the guns that I had miraculously acquired through these previous few raids, as well as started my storage room collection of miscellaneous goods. We now had a solid four runs under our belt and a plethora of guns, but it didn't take long to be humbled by other players that were better than me. Oh, I didn't kill him. Nap killed me. I had to have killed him. See, so low, I bet. He's asking if we're in the Church of Fish, see. Unmute and say, yes, we are in the Church of Fish. Yes, we are of the Church of Fish. <laughs> the Church of Fish was an elite group of players who knew about the one and only enlightened in fish. If I had to be killed by anyone, I'm glad it was a fellow believer. These next several raids on the island were pretty quick. Right away, I got to teach a phoenix a lesson in close quarters combat. Great to meet you. <gasps> Picked up an AS Val and got a good view from the top of the lighthouse. You guys can see the big island from here, look at that. Proceeded to pick up a kitted M4 and then get some sand in between my toes on the beach. Going along the beach, whoop, 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 whoop. walking along the beach, whoop, 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 whoop. At this point, we were around five hours into the 12 hour challenge and both Danny and Sloth needed to head to sleep. So it was time for me to solo run it for a little bit. I went in for my first silo run of the wipe, but quickly found myself trapped in the garage. Oh, he got me. I got killed by grilled cheese. Just when I thought you were going to be the most tasty snack in the world, you murdered me. I threw my lactose intolerance out the window and dove back in for another round. This time, taking caution as to where I was stepping and playing it out like a sneaky rat. I slipped into the elevator, snapped up some NVGs and other loot, then dipped out as quickly as possible. You could watch me play Organization Simulator or, or I can go, Whoop, set my bag on the shelf there. Say sayonara, bago. Even with NVGs in hand, I decided to switch it up and try my luck at a solo island run. Some paper money, and a fire truck and flashlight. Look how sick that looks. Push around the corner. Bang, 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 bang. This was gonna be one of the best loot runs yet. Now all we had to do was make it to extraction. Oh, I hate being pushed in this building. There's always people. This is the hot spot. There's a bar up there. You can sometimes get some crypto ledgers in. No way we traded! Fuck! Captain Kirk, GG's bro. Captain Kirk and his enterprise of a vector had brought me to my knees, but at least I took him along with me. These gunfights that transpired over the upcoming raids were short-lived, but interesting to say the least. Damn it! Musty burrito, I got you, but not the other person. Are you in there? Don't tell me you're camping in there the whole time. I have 280 HD for this shit. Oh, there's no shot! Yes, Z Storm, there very much was a shot, and it looks to have pierced my torso. What is up my bodaciously beautiful nerds, I just want to congratulate you on sitting through half of this video. If you skipped around to get here, shame on you. But everyone else, here's a cookie. Now for you to let me know that you made it this far, I want you to drop a ghost emoji in the comments down below. While you're munching on that cookie and typing that emoji, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little thumbs up next to it. Alright, now let's drop back into the video. It was time to stop messing around and really get into grinding these trader levels out, in this case specifically Spectre. 
Kill 25 Fennex with the SMG. So you have to kill 5 Fennex every raid. Let's try it out. I loaded up an MP5, put on my big boy armor, and even built up the courage to say fire truck it and bring my good helmeted NVGs in. It was time to show the silo who the real boss was. Oh, you don't. <laughs> got him. Oh. When I got back, I had the great idea of saving money by crafting bullets for the first time. All that was needed was to put some brass and standard powder in the machine, choose 9mm for the MP5, and pull the handle to crank out a box. With that, we were ready to rock, shock, and roll. It was pretty much rinse and repeat for these next few silo runs, so I'll just give you the highlights. Sorry, my guy, I didn't mean to lay you out. Who did I lay out? Dude, chum bait? Nice. Within these runs, I met another player at the most inconvenient of times. Really? Are we friendly? I think so. Hi. I uh, just want to get out of here. Not gonna lie, I was a little scared about completing this SMG mission, as the first rule of Tabor is trust no one. Alright, we can exfil. Whoa! <laughs> We got another 8 Fenix with an SMG in that run. It did take a few runs, but we were able to slam out the 25 kills and complete the big mission for Spectre. Boom, boom trader progress with 33,000 out of 50. Boom! 49,000 out of 50,000, one more thing and we are in Spectra level 3. By this point, our gun wall was looking super spicy and I was finding tons of uses for all the attachments that I was bringing back to my bunker. Yep, that right there, that's how you shoot a Glock. If you ain't got an ACOG on your Glock, are you even living? I was about 8 hours into wearing this burning eye box, and the true gamer within me was starting to show. Tactical! Wow! Tactical! Time to get tactical! Time to get tactical! Mother licking! Tactical! Time to get tactical! Oh shoot! Somebody died right here? Oh. Yes sir! Yes sir! Someone else managed to die in there, and they left me behind their big backpack. Domination was pumping through my veins, and I wasn't going to give anyone the opportunity to take that away from me. Look at this dude. Sorry, my guy. Don't worry. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I was on a streak of really good runs, and I honestly think that my luck levels here had a lot to do with the fact that I was carrying the tactic lock. So much luck, in fact, that I managed to find someone laid out in the elevator with an extremely rare GPU next to them. Oh, no shot this bro died in here. Let's dip, let's dip, let's dip. When I made my way back to the bunker, I threw the GPU into the crypto mining room, which I came soon to find out wasn't actually implemented into the game, so uh, the GPU got locked in there forever. Rest in peace, 4090. By this point, I had finally leveled Spectre up to level 3, so I took a short break from the raids to go look at the Tabor marketplace and see what goodies I unlocked, as well as a sneak peek at upcoming items that might get added into the game. As you can see, there's a flamethrower on the back, there's an RPG. The idea of an RPG gave me a thirst for power. I ran with that thirst and purchased myself a new Dragonoff sniper. Now this gun was an absolute monster, but I learned a lesson really quick about being humble. Somebody else here with a big boy gun. Oh, I'm coming home with that. No way, Wolf! Soto Wolf undeniably checked myself before I wrecked myself, and for that, I will forever be grateful. Sadly, being cautious and humble wasn't gonna solve all of my problems, and Bread Knight made dang sure of that. No way! This resulted in me just playing some naked runs and finding myself in this situation. Lord crafted your ass! Blah 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 blah! Ten whole hours had now passed and it was at this point that the servers went down for a bug patch and to fix some issues. During this short bit of time, we paused the timer and explored the market some more, this time making something super special. This right here, this is the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Look at how stupid this is! I love it! I somehow managed to buy two of these, resulting in spending a whopping 100,000 Karunas, but I mean, come on, look at these. Well, what's better than four lasers? Eight lasers. Welcome to Ghost Recon, bitch. 
All right, we gotta listen to Proper D, you guys. Who doesn't like getting their early morning going without a nice heaping dose of Proper D's vocal cords? Welcome to Tabor. The soothing voice of Proper D was a call sign as it brought all my friends wanting to play Tabor. But the only one to truly follow through on it was none other than the home sizzle, Jansen Fox. You didn't like receive all your other items in? No, I'm stuck on the fact that there's cat food as one of the options. We wasted no time dilly-dallying around and dove straight into a raid. This is where I made sure to teach Jansen some sweet tricks. Where did my- you just took the gun off my chest. Hang on, wait, 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 no. you, you can just do that? You can just take people's guns <laughs> off the chest? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Continuing on through the island, it didn't take long to run into a little bit of conflict. Um, but- oh, there's a person right there, Jansen. Hey, relax. Hey, relax. Get him in the head. Relax. Can any of us hit anything? How many bullets did we <laughs> all fire? Oh, I... On top of not being able to hit anything, our pal Jansen was already starting to lose it. Uh, wow. I don't know where my backpack went. Uh, your backpack's on your back. Okay. Or on your shoulder right here? Right here, right here. Get right here. Hey, Jansen, there get it, it together. I was beginning to think maybe it wasn't the best idea to have taken Jansen into the raids with me. My gun got stuck in a filing cabinet. Come here, come here, this is pretty cool, come here. I gotta get my gun out of a filing cabinet's east orbit. There we go. It wasn't long after that we heard a voice trying to talk to us nearby. Hey, y'all guys up there. Hey, who is that? Do you hear that? There's yeah, somebody, there's, there's a bunch of loot in these. There's a bunch of loot here. There's no reason for us to fight. That's, Killing them. That's a fit. Killing them. I'm killing them right now. I got no ammo in this gun, but he got a neck and it's mine. No, you can't stab players next. Come back, come back, I need help. help. Okay. okay, hi. So, all right, this is, this my, is first my first time, time playing. playing the game. Y'all hear me? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, oh! There we go, there we go. All right, all right. I need, I need help. help. <laughs> I need a gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a lot of loot out here that we don't need to hurt each other. And it was at this very moment that Jansen fully lost it. <laughs> this is my first time. My, my, uh, see, how, see, how did you, did you do that? that? How did you take your backpack out? Oh my! I Jansen, that was me. No, that was not. Jansen! That was <laughs> Jansen, that was me. Yeah, I was going to have to rethink taking Jansen into any more raids with me if all he was going to do was murder anything he saw when he got a faint taste of blood. After a little contemplation, we queued up for another raid on the island. Little did I know that Jansen was going to be his own worst enemy. Ooh, refresh up energy. Ooh, okay. How do I drink the drink? Never mind, I figured it out. Oh, uh, so you got to be careful. You're now yes. dying. Why am I dying? Look at your wrist. Where's your water level? Uh, uh negative six out of a hundred. <laughs> Let's try and find you a water real quick. Um, oh, here, here, a can of beans. Right there, right there, right there. Slurp them. Slurp them. Uh, negative 52 out of 100. <laughs> negative 52? Don't eat the beans. Don't eat the beans. What about coffee? I saw this as a great opportunity for some payback as Jansen probably wasn't going to make it anyways. Fine. All right, here, here, here. No, what, what's your health at? What's your health at? 20 out of 100. Okay, I have the solution for it. You want to know the ultimate solution for it? Um, don't you dare shoot me. Is he sure? I've got... With us now being even, I grabbed his stuff and headed towards Xville. And of course, along the way, I ran into an enemy in the same dangerous spot that I always do. Not yet, not yet. Right, right, right. Um, there is radiation, but that's where the energy part comes from. I had zero right to survive anything that is about to unfold, and I'm glad it was captured on video, otherwise nobody would believe me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get that out. I killed wow. him with a grenade! Nice! On accident, I definitely should have died. Let's get Hi. This. Well, this is kind of a problem. You got it. Believe in yourself. Where did that grenade go? I killed another one with a grenade. Let's go. I stored my freshly acquired loot on the wall and got ready to run back in for another raid. Also, in case you're wondering, the main reason we weren't running any silo raids is because Jansen was new and didn't have any night vision goggles. I'm sure it really wouldn't have made any difference, but I'm just telling myself that now so we can keep the content fresh. We readied up and slammed down into island, this time spawning at the docks. This boathouse area that we spawned near had a really cool upstairs area, and I wanted to make sure that Jansen got some more non-friendly combat experience. We can snap, you want to snap next? Is uh, shoot that door handle. Okay, 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 there ow, you okay. You can put the gun away now. There should be one in there. All right, go in and snap okay. his neck, buddy. Give me that. Hey, dude. Come here. There's another one. Come here. There's another one. Hey. There you go. Come nice, on. nice. You got him. With the Fenix eliminated, we slowly ventured away from the docks towards the little forklift compound. And it was here that we met another potential friend. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, hey. Wait, can you hear me? Hey, hey buddy. Oh. Yeah, no. Hi. Oh, thanks. 
That's awesome. Sadly, this is where rule two of Tabor comes into play. No mic, no life. <laughs> That's what you get for not having a blue glow stick. Dummy, dude. <laughs> After another slight case of war crimes, we pushed into the Advantage building to see if there was any cool loot hiding. But instead of loot, we just found more conflict. Whoa, 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 whoa. That means I'm out of ammo. How do I get rid of this in my Alright, let's Should see if we can see some people out. outside. Is there anyone outside? I did eventually see a phoenix back by the compound, and Jansen being so used to the world of Population 1, this is what he said. I see, I see nada. Oh, can you ping him? Do a ping for me? Hang on, hang on. I'll, hang on, let me ping him. Hang on, I'll ping- Actually, no shot. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's there exactly. to the right. Okay, all right, shit, nice throw. The raid clock was rapidly running out of time, so we headed out of the building, but ended up getting distracted by players. There's somebody in that building. You wanna go kill him? Let's go kill him. Of course. This hey, guy's definitely. holding me hostage. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, uh, Jancy, you might want to kill him. Wanting to forget about the embarrassing loss we just suffered, we pushed on and pretended as if nothing happened. Uh, please, please tell, tell me, me that, that we can take that boat. There's no way we can. I really wish we could have happened and just... Bring, just whip it, dude. How sick with it. Do you want to you wanna go up a lighthouse? Want to go catch a view? Uh, of course I do. The two of us decided to hike up the long pathway leading into the lighthouse, ready to see what sort of goodies lay hidden within. Though it soon became apparent that we were not alone. I heard Russian voices that said, um... Come get this net. Was that just laying? Were those just laying on the ground? Laying on the ground. Oh, there's people up here then. Oh, real people. Yeah, yeah. Things were about to take a turn for the worse. All right. So they. they oh, hey, look. Oh, hey, look. They they literally aimed to shoot at me. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> domed. Right in the face. They aimed to shoot at me. I heard the clicks, and then. Oh, Jansen, why didn't you have any bullets in your gun? Yes. Your gun was on safety. Well, uh, yeah. I didn't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> God, obviously. You would have thought that over the course of several hours, we would have somehow gotten even slightly better at surviving in this world. Well, you would be sadly mistaken. Oh, that's some player- I, oh, oh my god, where are you, Jansen? I'm looking at a player right now. I domed. Domed. Right in the face. I have no idea where that came from. It certainly wasn't the person who was right in front of me. Enough was enough. It was time to buckle down and take revenge for everything we kept getting thrown into. These nerds were gonna learn a lesson today. I can't see him. I killed him. Avenge me. Who is Avenge me? I'm gonna be. Who is it? Uh, Reflection. His name was Reflection. Oh my god. If it's the same person, I feel like I'm gonna have to. I reveled in the success of removing these two players from existence and taking every single piece of their gear. Thanks, Reflection and Etsy. GG's. Another AK, another AK, a MAC 10, and a Glock is what I came up with. Oh, look at me, I'm Zstrom. I have all these hands to carry stuff around. <laughs> Must have been easy for you to find a relationship. For, for some of us, with our two hands, we had to do it the hard way. At this point, I had now successfully stayed in Tabor for over 12 whole hours straight. But this game was stupidly addicting, so Jansen and I were going to take one last run into the island of Tabor. Though before that, Chad had wanted to see the award I received when attending the Ghost of Tabor launch party in Florida, and I thought I might as well just show you guys too. The award's right here. It's a full trophy that says Z-Storm, Hoarder of the Year Award. Look at that. We won this at the launch party down in Florida. Look at that. Isn't it so cool? I, I got uh, an award for um, uh, getting second place in a Connect 4 competition. That's actually pretty sick. We were in our last raid and ready to make the absolute most out of it together as friends. Jansen saw the lighthouse and the adventurer within him bolted straight for it despite being brutally murdered here a few short raids ago. So we can try going up this one this time and people hopefully won't be up here to kill us. Luckily nobody was residing within the lighthouse so we were able to spiral our way all the way to the top without any issues. And it was here at the top where Jansen had to ask the really important questions. Did he fly in this? Yeah, yeah, just like pop one. You just T-pose? Maybe you can fling yourself like... Oh, 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 oh! So you can fling yourself on top of me. So once you get on top of me, just jump off and T-pose. Okay, Perfect. okay. So okay. get now get ready. So all you have to do, it's like pop one. You just have to jump off and T-pose. Right, okay. All right, just just in case this doesn't work, um, tell my, my wife, uh, I'm sorry that she had... <laughs> oh, shit! You no, no! <laughs> um... You promised! No need to worry, Jansen. I'll keep my promise. Allison, if you're watching this, Jansen wanted to let you know that... 
Alrighty, looks like that's about it as far as the adventure goes. This was truly a great time to remember and look back upon as Ghost of Tabor undergoes updates and changes. And once there's enough content added to the game, I'm sure I'll do another 12 hours in this game or maybe even a 24 hour video. Gigantic thanks goes out to Combat Waffle Studios as without them this video would not have been possible. Yes, at the time of this video this game is full of jank but damn it is some of the most fun I have ever had in VR period. And the best part is, it can only get better from here. In case you didn't already know, you can grab Ghost of Deborah on Quest 2 or Steam for only 20 bucks. They also plan on releasing the Pico 4 and PSVR 2 versions later this year. If you did enjoy this type of storytelling content, I do have my 100 Days Survival movies that you can also watch. Also feel free to help support me by just sharing this video with a buddy and dropping a like onto it. Thanks again for watching nerds, and as always, remember, never give up.